What's up, Shmodon fans? Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Shmodon, second episode of the week. I'm Star Wars competitor, Andy DiMolanta. And I'm Nikki DiMolanta. So um, I think we're just going to go ahead and dive right into it because... Uh -huh. Yeah, might as well. Not a lot to talk about because we're just going over last week's throwdown. Um, yes. So, because we couldn't talk about it a lot yesterday because so many matches. We can't. We can't, It would have been six matches had we... Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. It would have been... Yeah, no. Yeah. When stuff like this happens, uh, we like to to break it apart. Yeah, you know, make yes. it easier to digest. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. And spoiler alert: if you yeah. haven't watched, if you haven't the, watched throwdown, the throwdown, if you haven't watched, you know, Janine and Warfather and Bayman and Merle, come back because <laughs> we're going to tell you what happens. So that's your warning. So the first match, the undercard, Warfather. Versus Janine, the machine. Warfather mm -hmm. is, of course, the Droogs. And the and Janine is, of course, with the usual suspects. So Yes. Yeah, and coming into this one, Warfather is undefeated in singles. Yeah. What is he one of <laughs> I don't know why I said I just did air quotes there. But <laughs> yeah, he's undefeated in, in uh, singles. He has one, one, and zero. one and zero. Even though I hate using that. I hate using one and I hate using undefeated for one, one and all players, but like I mean it's not it's wrong. Technically, <laughs> he's te technically right. <laughs> But Janine is what? She's three and... She, before this, was three and six, if I'm mm. not mistaken. Wow. Who, in, yeah. In singles? I feel like I remember hearing them say three and six. I think. Uh-huh. I could yeah. need to be fact-checked, but I, I, I remember thinking that it was like, oh, three and six. Yeah. It's very nice, and it's just nice numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these are two factions that needed the points, like desperately need these points. Desperately. And for this one, I always felt, going into this one, I felt like, Janine needed this win more than Warfather. Warfather's he's you know he he's not a rookie, but yeah he's a newer player. Um, he's only played one singles. He's coming off an of IG loss. They're both coming off of IG losses, but yeah. Janine needed this win. I agree because she's on a slippery slippery so slope. Because it's like you lose this one, it's like uh oh, mm, like what yeah. do you where do you go from here? So yeah, she she really needed the, the this match. She needed really you really need a, a W um for this one. So. So, mm -hmm. round one, they both miss a question about Dwayne The Rock Johnson mm -hmm. and also a question about Bombshell. And then Warfather missed a question about Edward Scissorhands. So, by the end of round one, it was five to six in favor of Janina. Mm -hmm. Round two, Warfather goes first. He spins away from action adventure and then spins it's towards opponent's choice. Yes. And I'm, that's, that's weird that he, he's spun away from action adventure. Um. I don't know why he's like, because I think a lot of people are like, oh, general knowledge is so like broad. broad. And I think he was looking for like a more specific wheel slice. Yeah. But that's the gamble. He's like, it's like, oh, well, the broad, it's a broad category. But I think in the broad categories, the questions are slightly easier and not as deep cut as the, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it so, makes sense. Yeah. I think he said that you know there's other stuff i wouldn't mm -hmm. be mad if i got it again so it's not that he was like no action adventure gross yeah and that's, so he just wanted to see take a gamble and you hear a lot of players and we talked about this in, in yesterday's episode like they, they a lot of players say this because you you don't want to give away anything to your yeah. opponents or to anybody else in, the, in the, the division or the league and it's like yeah i like i like it but that's true it's it's like you're trying not you're trying to get the category you want but you don't want to give away anything so that's saying yes this is a weakness of mine unless that's so true it's so funny you bring that up because yeah. i saw a post i don't know i think somebody put it mm -hmm. i don't know where i saw it but i think it was on reddit mm -hmm. and um it was somebody that was like here's the like script for round two <laughs> like every round two yeah it's like they spin something manager oh, how do you feel about this and the player's like well i don't know i mean there's other stuff that's better and there's some stuff that's worse manager well you know you remember what we talked about yeah no no i know what we talked about and it's like the same formula <laughs> for yeah. like every round two manager player discussion yeah and it's funny that you say that because you're right. A lot of people are like, yeah, there's there's other stuff. There, I don't you know? hate it. I don't hate it. I wouldn't be mad to get it again because, you know, I have no weaknesses. But, yeah, it's funny that you mentioned that. I have no weaknesses. <laughs> but, yeah. You yeah. got it from his choice. That's, yeah, and that's why, like, I, I like this thing. It's like, just to try it. Like, it's, I know it's harder to do this in the singles yeah. in Teams Division. But it's like, try to discuss as much as possible before you go live. Yeah. And just like, yeah, okay, we talked about this. 
I mean, it's not that you, yeah. you're not going to know what's on the wheel in advance. So it's not like you can talk about, oh, well, I if think we get in singles, this. You, I think in singles, you do. Really? Yeah. And yeah, you know, uh, especially in the digital ones, like, hey, no guys, way. you know, they tell us what, what the, the wheel slices were. It's like, all right, guys, here's, here are the wheel slices. Oh, the day of. Like right before we go, we went live. Oh, so you're talking about like right before a little cram session. Yeah. Where you talk about, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe I like, thought you were talking about like leading up to the match. I'm yeah. Like, well, because well, no you, you have, especially for live matches, you have like maybe like 10 minutes um and you're you're sitting just backstage and maybe like text but back between your it's like all right so this is the wheel yeah uh i'll spin away from this and do this and this like okay and then you put your phone away so it's out of frame and then you don't touch it ever again because they're not going to penalize you for texting your manager before the mess like because how else are you supposed to do that i guess only one private chat or can you have another there's only one private chat that's what i'm saying it's like just text with your manager and like because in the star wars tournament me and gucci were just like all right uh, this is what we're doing right yeah because we're doing and we see that even before, uh, like the day before we were on a phone call, I was like, yeah, we already know everything. If any possibility comes up, this is what we're doing. Yeah. So you don't have to have these like weird, weird, weird vague, like, yeah. I like it, but I can do better. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And, and it, it kind of, it was, it's kind of to my benefit or it's kind of, it was kind of to my benefit anyways, because it's like, yeah, we know what we're doing. So let's go. And, yeah. And I never spun away from a category anyways. And it rolling. just keeps the game rolling. So it's just, <laughs> and it's just, it's one of these things that the digital uh, era, it's like, Come on, all right, all right, we're just it's either we just want to fill the airtime or we just want to play mind games with the opponent. Just get yeah. on with the match. It takes yeah. so long to get through all these matches because it's just constantly talking. Yeah, it's like oh my god, there's and, a lot of talking. Yeah, yeah, but I think some of the f- talking that I'm, I'm a really a really fan of is like with uh Video Drew and Kaiser, and which it just has nothing to do with the match and it's just entertaining. When it's not just like cookie cutter. Yeah, it's like how you feel. I'm feeling good, man. I'm, I'm like- so proud of you. The best player I've ever had. Never been more proud of somebody. Yeah, it's like, like oh yeah, thanks. Kinda. Yeah, it's like you're doing amazing, honey. Yeah, it's like <laughs> come on, man. Just like give me it's like give me a digital fist bump. It's like all right, man. Good job on that one. Let's move along. Yeah. It's like, I, it's like I just want to get the match over with, man. Yeah. Let's, let's do this. Yeah. But it's just like it, it's like a scripted thing. It's like, yeah, no, I don't. Uh, I don't hate it, but I like the spinning. I think we just, do. I think we can do better. We've talked about this. Yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, was, let's, let's just spin it again. It's like, yeah. oh, Jesus. Anyway, sorry, we don't have a really un, like a unnecessary <laughs> tangent. So he got opponent's choice, and Janine goes with Spike Lee. Oof. Oh, Oof. this is a that's a tough category. Ooh. Yeah, a tough so category. he had a big old two point miss and mm-hmm. it was stolen mm-hmm. black Klansman question. Then he goes to multiple choice one time, mm-hmm. missed it, got stolen. Mm-hmm. Janine goes, she gets Audrey Hepburn mm-hmm. does the thing with Sam where she's kind of like, ah, yeah, I'm feeling all right. Yeah, you know? Uh, yeah. And, um, he absolutely supported her all the way. She stuck with it. Yeah. And she killed it. Yeah. Just perfect round ran two. through it and perfect round and two. The, the whole with the war father the two-point steal he he felt really sure of himself like old boy it's like oh yeah that's no right. dude dude that movie that movie went straight to vod that is one thing that i would mm. as a manager do to improve war father's game is he seemed to jump the gun a lot yeah and he seemed to just answer and mm. not really think it happened with old boy and then it happened with one of his round three questions mm-hmm I think it was the um the the his last question that he missed. Yeah. Um, so it just seems that he just kind of like sometimes just and goes if, for it yeah. without thinking. And I think he learned his lesson after that steal because he's like, oh, okay, uh, oops. And then he went multiple choice. How many more times? Once. Like once. Yeah. So I think because he got the, the the other two right. So, mm-hmm. um, I guess he learned his lesson because like, and it is like those kind of like competitors. And he, when he's, I th- I think I see this more with personality like characters. Because the, the, their attention is a little divided. Their attention is a little divided on playing a character rather than, and some people do it fantastically. Like yeah. Tom does it really well. Andrew Guy does it very well. Yeah, Video Drew. I Video think Drew does, does, a great a, job. does a great job as well. Um, Barbarian does it very well. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just Warfall. I think he's still trying to find his footing, uh, yeah. his balance between that character and and his knowledge. So and gameplay. But once it gets to be his turn, mm-hmm. the character definitely. It yeah, goes yeah, down it goes a little down a bit, bit. Yeah, which I'm, I'm, I would do the same thing. So. Oh yeah, yeah, no. But yeah, maybe, maybe the footing still is just a little shaky. I don't mm-hmm. know, but yeah, that would be one thing that I would work on with him is, is mm-hmm. you know, patience. Yeah, thinking about uh, yeah. your answer Think before your you answers, just jump yeah. the gun. So and then like when you get it right, then hop back into character, do your la- your character laugh, yeah. and your character bits after you get a correct answer, or if you get a correct or like the, I think that's where, where people struggle with these character balancing character and 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 gameplay is 
when you're playing the game, just drop the character for a second to get the right answer and then hop right back into mm-hmm. it. If it's either if it's wrong or it's right, it's like, oh, oh, oh I thought it was this one. Oh. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> that's our two cents. <laughs> yeah. And um, one thing that we thought was very funny. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> was in between round two and three, when Sam made that comment like to Warfather, like, aren't you on my team? And no, oh, I think it was Ken. It was it was directed at Ken. Oh, directed at Ken. Okay, yeah. that makes more sense because at first I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> was, yeah, aren't you on my team? And then Christian was like, yeah, no, you you traded, traded him. him. Yeah. And then Warfather jumps in and goes, weren't you on Do No Harm? And like, <laughs> it was kind of like quiet for a second. And the like latency. Mark smiles. Christian's like, all right, so let's. Uh, and then starts like laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest quite honest i don't understand why that joke is funny mm-hmm. but i laugh my butt off because, because anytime off. somebody makes christian laugh it's it's funny I, it's infectious and i can't help but start laughing yeah. even if i don't get it it's probably just one of those guys where like if you can make him laugh especially yeah. spontaneously oh yeah it's funny if he's like all right so let's move up and you can make him stop <laughs> mid-sentence like announcer mode like <laughs> Dang, you did it. Yeah. You made Mark and Christian you know, laugh. It's good. like on SEN. If you can make Harloff laugh with the Schmobot, you know yeah. it's good. I've done that maybe once. Like I think I, I think I, I think I did it once. And I was like, yes. <laughs> it landed. <laughs> yes, I peaked. <laughs> peaked. And check mark for the day. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't get it, but I still think it's yeah, really it funny. Was, it was fun. and there was, I think was, it happens twice or three. It happened like two or three times um in this store down, which is it was really funny. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll at the, the end of round two, nine to 17 in favor of Janine. Mm-hmm. Round three, two point for Warfather. He gets Westerns, mm-hmm. who plays a farmer in 2007's 310 to Yuma. Mm. And he got it. That's a good movie. Three point for Warfather Directors, who directed 2011's The Descendants. And this was, I think, mm-hmm. one where he was just kind of like, uh, this. And didn't really oh take... yeah, and didn't take time to, to think it through. Is that right? Did I he do? That I think one? he did think it through, and I think he he just didn't give himself enough time to really and like dig deep. I think I don't think the problem with him is jumping the gun. I don't think he. No, I thought he did it on two questions. Mm-hmm. I, he definitely did it on Old Boy, and yeah. I thought he did it on a second one. Yeah, maybe I'm making it up. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, he answers it, and it's not correct. Yeah, and. Maybe because I don't remember that the last three pointer. I don't remember if he did mm. use a JTE or not. I can't remember. I don't think he did. I don't remember. But yeah, I thought mm. that there were two questions that he kind of like just yeah yeah. yeah. Was, yeah. But anyways, he mm. missed it. So eleven to seventeen in favor of Miss Janine with a TKO. T-K-O. Much needed three points for the usual suspect and a Heck much yeah. much needed win. This is like the best case scenario. For, for Janine. It's That'd not be just the, really invigorating. Yeah. If this was a close match and the, it would be like, oh man, it, it, it'd be one of those, like, it feels like it's a win, but it doesn't really feel like a win. Yeah. But the way that it ends in a TKO, it's like, oh, such a, such a, like, a momentum and a moral booster for, for Janine, who was just, she was just like, like floundering around. Like, the, you thought her season was over. Yeah. And when she, you, when you, this undercard gets announced, like, oh, I guess we have to see Janine again. I really hope she does well because she really needs it. To, yeah. And if we don't see her again until next season, she gets to close out her season with a win. And not a lot of players can say that this a season. A nice win. A nice win. A TKO. TKO. Doing your, and doing a, not only, uh, you know, getting a win for her on her own record, but contributing to the team with yeah. points. Um, and, and especially in the, when they're in a spot where they need every single bit. Yeah. So, and maybe she gives three and then maybe Ethan just blows through the singles tournament and like, look, there they there are again. Yeah. So, and then the t- team's tournament is coming with Ethan Irwin in it again. So, um, Ethan Irwin and you guys. Yeah. At this, yeah. At this point, any points are welcome and no matter where you are on the leaderboard. Yeah. And, um, as far as the Drews go, the, this, this, like the, the slip just keeps continuing and like yeah. the losses keep coming and, and for Warfather, I think I, I was about to say with him, I don't think it's the matter that he jumps the gun. I think he doesn't try to dig deeper for the answer. I think he he like settles on the first thought in his head uh, and goes this. Oh no, okay, and just <laughs> and just yeah. doesn't use his JTE to like really think about the question, like like think see you can find any other context clues in the question and be like, okay, this is the year, this is the actor. This, yeah, I think he just goes because the old boy obviously was not it was obviously not the right not answer, even close. not even close to the right answer. And he's just like old boy, yeah, <laughs> like, like quickly too. Yeah, it's like maybe he's just a, a competitor that's like 
the first thing that pops in his head is like, yeah, that's the answer I'm going with. Other Unless than- maybe he was just... Spike Lee was just like, oh, 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 yeah. And it was he, just like, well, I know he did old boy. Yeah, no, but there's, and, but there's the two other questions he got right. So it's like, yeah. Well, take, one of the other ones was old boy. So yeah, that helped. <laughs> <laughs> that helped. That a wrong answer ended up coming a right answer at the very yeah. last question in your second round. But it's like one of those. It's like take a little bit more time to to not just think about the question, but to make sure one, make sure you're right, and two, look at the all the context clue and see if you can dig down deep in your head like okay yeah that, that is the right answer yeah um check in with yourself yeah and it's a shame that you know that you know he's one of these characters it's like i hate to put him in that category of like the wild berries the josh mccougas of like great great personality the knowledge just isn't there yeah so like especially in in like the way that the shmodan is right now you can't just be a great personality you have to be not that you have to but like, if you really want to come to to play, you have to win. Yeah. And it, being a character isn't just enough anymore. You have to win, otherwise we won't ever see you again. Especially yeah. this season, people have lost once, and we never saw them again. But that's what happens when the league starts growing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. So, got to be able to mm-hmm. to back it up with. And it's and and, and like I said, it's a shame because Warfall is a personality that I, that I find funny. Yeah. And I like his I like his character. And I want to see because he's just this jovial, huge behemoth of a guy. <laughs> it's like I walked past him at the draft. I'm like, you are. I mean, I'm short as it is, but like he's gigantic. He's a huge like personality, a huge dude. So it's like, man, I don't know if I ever stood next to him. He is, a, he's a tall. I just remember where we were standing, where we were sitting. He mm-hmm. was like over here. Right? He he was more. He's more towards the entrance, and uh-huh. the dude was sitting down, and he, I thought he was standing up. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's he, he's he's tall he's very tall and uh he has the the personality to to match yeah his his physical stature so um it's just a shame that we probably won't see him again for the rest of the season and mm-hmm. who knows where he ends up next season even it, it does he play next season yeah so we'll see mm-hmm. and it's not it's not it's not that this his record isn't something that he can't come back from a one-on-one record doesn't end your career no not at, at all. all i mean an own two record doesn't end your career in some cases so i mean it feels like it does <laughs> jeez <laughs> but it doesn't <laughs> let's just make that clear right now yeah but yeah so numbers are just numbers <laughs> okay <laughs> Listen, listen, don't even get me started. <laughs> I will go we, on. We could start a whole new podcast, Schmodown podcast called Owen 2, and just have Nikki oh, talk about it for hours. Ooh, on just end. give me a bottle of wine, and I will just <laughs> pop off, baby. Ooh, it, would, it fun, would get salty, it would, would get a, gross. That would be a fun little, like, just like I don't season. think it would because I would get mad <laughs> the, se- the season ends we have them those couple of weeks to a month with no matches and we just have beyond the schmodown zero and two and just let you let you go and it's this a special little segment that we'll do for the end of the off season who wants to watch nikki get a little drunk and uh, <laughs> a little a little and then just eventually well, maybe kind of make herself angry <laughs> we'll send the baby off to grandma's house i'll be behind the camera for this one and then just go and go <laughs> so oh and two records right <laughs> am i right ladies no i would just get myself upset and like actually mad <laughs> could be funny but uh, no <laughs> we'll so let us know in the conversation if you want to know want to hear beyond the spot on oh and two <laughs> no <laughs> so the main event we main have event. so yes yeah, go ahead and move on to the main ben event the boss bateman versus dangerous Dan and Merle, both representing the Finstock Exchange. Yeah. Merle, Dan, or oh, sorry, well, wow. Merle, Dan. <laughs> Merle, Dan. <laughs> so Merle Bateman part two, a rematch from Atlanta. And can we just like for a second, like just reflect on the Atlanta event and just how yeah. like intense this match, just going into it, like, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be this like, like haymaker after haymaker, just like yeah. two of the best in the league, the best to ever do it. And a, like one of, uh, one of, if not the best, best strategic minds in the game rocky and apollo does that make sense yeah yeah no i wouldn't make rocky and i don't know i don't does that know. make sense no, no, i don't do they fight can... yeah they do but like well apollo is creed oh <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, you're not a huge Rocky fan. Edit that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's the other one? Who's the Russian? Oh, uh, Drago. Drago. Rocky it, and Drago. The, you, I don't think you can, can do that, but like, because oh. like it's like She's trying to do it's a like movie thing. The, like the whole like just like 
the guy that's been there since the beginning, yeah. you know, four time champion, it's just like accolades on top of accolades on top of accolades. And this <laughs> other competitor, <laughs> you just think of the Rocky thing, <laughs> and another competitor that just is strictly like they call him the money ball type player, like just looks at the numbers, studies by IMDb, doesn't really watch movies to study, even though when you get into the five pointers, you, you really have to watch movies. I mean, I don't want to make the assertion that Ben Bateman doesn't watch movies to study them. Mm. Well, he said much that he, he watches movies because he likes watching movies. Only- oh so he doesn't he's actually kind of said that i really don't watch them study them i i study i study like i'm actually the, studying for school kind yeah of thing. like he'll look at the mdp mm. page this who directed it this year okay. came out and, okay well if he said it and, that's cool and it, it's worked for him like look where he's been he's been two title matches mm-hmm. no three title matches he's won two uh t- uh he's won the singles tournament and he did they win the the team's tournament a couple of years ago with who's the boss i think so yeah so he there's no arguing that his tactic does work. Yeah. It's just, does he want, it's like, sometimes the five pointers come to bite him in, in the rear end because the ones he miss are like, especially in Atlanta was a plot based question. Mm. So it, 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 t- it takes him really, really far. It's one of a title. So does he want to like, look at it, go, maybe I, I tweak it a bit. Yeah. So, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. We haven't even talked about yes, yes, about yes. this match. So going so, into this match, I was just keeping all that in mind. It's like these are two great competitors, two drastically different tactics for the game. Yeah. Going head to head, and I was so excited to see it because if you liked Atlanta, you're you're gonna like this one. And spoiler alert: if you, again, oh my god, please, if you haven't yeah. seen this and you. <laughs> I don't know why you'd get this far yeah. if you haven't seen this match already. Like, why'd you even click on the video? I just yeah. can't be too careful because people get very riled up yeah. about spoilers. So I don't know what you're doing here if you still don't know the results. I might have of this to change the, the title of this uh, this one because I already made the thumbnail for it, which is rare. Um, oh boy. <laughs> I have a title for it right now. I'm like, eh, maybe, no, I'll, whatever. Yeah. A little beyond, beyond this run on. Oh, spoilies. But seriously, if you haven't seen it, maybe you should come back later. Yeah. Round one, Dan missed a question about the last flag flying, which who bl- who could blame him? Who's even heard of I that? I haven't even heard of that movie. Ben missed a question about Godzilla. Mm. I don't remember what the subtitle, the rest of the title was, but it was mm. a godzilla E question. Mm. And um, so, yeah, they both only missed one question each, seven to seven by the end of round one. Round two, Ben goes first. He spins James Bond and after Ooh. a bit of deliberation yeah. decides to stay with it. Multiple choice once, once. stolen. Yeah. So net, like just aside from that one little slip up, does a fairly good job in round two. Yeah, for because I was I was kind of sc- scanning the rest of that wheel and that was a blah, yeah that was that like, wheel was something yeah like do you really want to spin, spin your wheels and try to get yeah what was it, like Hitchcock was on there um, historical, historical whatever yeah. dramas and whatever and yeah Nicole Kidman and I mean ice Nicole pick. Kidman's not that ice <laughs> Ice Cube Ice Cube that, that's, that definitely had to be a a Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Is someone no nobody's named ice pick i don't know where i got that oh vinnie the ice <laughs> pick man Cluso? maybe that's where i don't know i was just chilling in my reason, brain when ice cube came up all i could think is that um uh, rick and morty when he's in rick and morty and it's actually uh, ice cube uh, oh no that's ice, ice, that's ice tea damn it damn it damn it <laughs> anyways so <laughs> i tickled you <laughs> Man, Ice Cube, Ice T. We're both, like, we're both bro. just like, bro. We're both like freaking Tom Brady throwing interceptions oh, on our wow. first game. Let's, Jesus. How about we have a podcast called Andrew Talks About Tom Brady? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's not even open that can of worms. My God. So Dan goes, he spins Hitchcock and he mm-hmm. decides to stick with it because yeah. he looked at the wheel and was like, ew. Yeah. No, so yeah. he decided to stick with it. Yeah. And Ben had a comment. like, nice acting, Ben. Or yeah. Ben, wow. A nice Dan. acting, Dan. And it's like, because like, he thought that Dan put, and Dan put it on the wheel because I think Gucci admitted like he didn't know any of their wheel slices. Yeah. He but, said that they agreed that they wouldn't know yeah. who put one and that, on the wheel. Yeah. And that's the fairest way to do it because... Because who's to say, like, Gucci's going to be like, hey, this is what he's putting on the wheel, man. Yeah. Like, so study up on this. Make sure you study up on your yeah. Hitchcock. It's just, it's just the fair. My, I think the fairest way to have done this match was no manager. Yeah, it was a little yeah, odd. It was a little weird. I mean, even though we're like, we had this huge argument in the beginning of the, uh, the Atlanta event. It's like, who's managing who? And like, yeah. oh, we should just let, let Gucci manage both of them. It's and a it's little like, weird. It's a little weird, especially in the digital format. Because, yeah, when you're like back to back, like, okay, let's bring in Ben. Okay, 
Gucci, guide him. Okay, let's bring in the other one. Okay, yeah. Gucci, guide him. And you're trying, you're trying to give him good advice, mm-hmm. but then it's like, well, how do you give this guy good advice? And then mm-hmm. turn around and try to give that guy good advice. Yeah. You know, it can be done, obviously, but yeah. it's just a little weird. But, you know. That's strange. So he, Dan, he goes to multiple choice once, got it right. He did have a two-point miss, but it was not stolen. Mm. So by the end of round two, 13 to 13. 13 God, I just can't. <laughs> I'm telling him. Can't like, shake him. Just hit after hit after hit, but still just standing there just, taking it's, it. It's like, it's like Rocky and the Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> Round three. She brought Since it back. This, I brought it back. Since <laughs> this is a championship match, we got ourselves oh, yeah. a five, five rounder. rounder. So this three uh, round three is the um, betting round. Mm-hmm. So Dan spins it, gets Hitchcock again. <laughs> Shmominati. Shmominati. So Dan bets two, missed it. Mm. Ben bet three, mm-hmm. got it. He goes up. So yeah. here we go. Oof. Round, but and at the end of round three, 11 to 16 in favor of Ben. Heading into round four, the Mm -hmm. lightning round. All right. So they both did very well. Very well. well. Yes. Uh, Ben did slightly better than Dan. Yeah. Because he didn't be, uh, Dan passed on two. Well, no misses for Dan, and he passed on two. Mm -hmm. But one wasn't so much that he passed it, it was that he 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 didn't get it. He said it like right after the cutoff. So they couldn't give him. So it just kind of like, well, yeah, technically, because I think he passed on it originally and then it came back. Yeah. And he just didn't get it in time. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah, he got it. He just didn't get it in time. Yeah. So it kind of just was treated as a pass. No, because he passed on it originally, I think. And then it came back around. Yeah. 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 So he, yeah. Yeah. So he, yeah. yeah he whatever. attempted to answer it, didn't get it in time. Mm-hmm. So they couldn't give him the points. Yeah. So it was like a pass. Yeah. I think we're just, I'm just not listening, being a typical man and not listening. Sorry. Unless I'm not making sense. <laughs> Cause I think, they, I think, I think we we're both saying the, the same thing. They just treated not... it as a pass, even though. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yes. he got it after the timer. <laughs> right? No, no. Cause it, it, so it was a question that he passed on and he got through all the rest of the questions. It came back. Yep. <laughs> and he didn't get it in time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so the the round ended, but he already he had originally already passed on it, yeah. so he passed on two. Yes, yes. yeah. I, this is marriage. I, I don't have any objections to anything you just said because it's everything I just said. This is marriage in a nutshell. This is quarantine. The woman, this is quarantine marriage. One person says one thing, the other person <laughs> says the same thing in a different way, and they just, it's like biscuits, just, <laughs> just biscuits left. Oh we have this joke God. with brain biscuits, and like, we, we're, it's so stupid. It's, we're quoting the, the league, league yeah. yet again. <sighs> brain biscuits are turning. Yeah, there's there's a character in the league and he's ridiculous. His name is Rafi. Rafi. And instead of, you know, when someone says, oh, my gears are your gear. I can see the gears in your head turning. turning. Instead of saying gears, he was like, all right, my brain biscuits are turning. (laughs) So we always refer to them as brain biscuits. It's It's so stupid. With our dogs, like, we can see your brain biscuits not turning, but slipping. (laughs) Slopping around. (laughs) It's probably not funny to anybody. Sorry. 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 (laughs) But. Anyways. Anyways. Dan passed twice. Yes, so. So he passes twice. <laughs> Gets everything else right. Ben passed passes twice. once. Yeah, no misses yeah. for Ben. Passed once. once. So at the end of round four, mm-hmm. 19 to 25 in favor of Ben. Ben is up six points going into the final round. And so. it's like, oof. This oof. is. I'm pretty sure there were people that were like, it's over. It's over. It's like, yes, show us how much you know about the Schmodown because. Yeah. And also. You, uh, uh, Dan Merle. Dan, right? come on now. So, mm. chill. Round five. Two pointer for Dan. He gets Tarantino. How is it that everybody's getting Tarantino in round know, three? It's like, or the final round? There, it feels like it's Tarantino and like there's like three other categories. Lots, that of, lots of animated getting. lately. Yeah. So many people seem to be getting Tarantino. It's mm. so weird. Yeah. So, yeah, Dan gets Tarantino for his two pointer. Harvey Keitel, Salma Hayek, George Clooney in a film where Tarantino's also in it mm. as an actor. He got it right. Yeah, which is weird because it's like as a competitor, you're like, oh, I was expecting a film he directed. 
You know what I mean? When you hear Tarantino, it's oh, not whatever like, this question was, he didn't direct it. No, he he just oh, he was he acted too. in it, and oh. you forget that he. Oh yeah, he he's in movies, not just directing movies. Oh, I know. I made the assumption that he directed it. No, no. I'm pretty sure that it was just it's just a movie about him appearing in a film. Hmm. Three pointer. I for could Dan. be wrong. Dang, it's comedies for his three pointer. Mm-hmm. Craig Schwartz is an em- employed or unemployed. I wrote employed. Yeah, maybe unemployed. Well, a puppeteer living in New York City with his wife mm-hmm. in this 1999 film. He got it right. Being, it was, John, uh, Malkovich. being John Malkovich. Have you seen that that movie? No. It is a trip. Who are you talking to? I know, but it's a, it's a trip. And wow. I get the, yeah, because uh, John mm-hmm. Malkovich, John Malkovich, mm-hmm. he's a character. Yeah, he's a, he is a character. And the movie is just like. <gasps> what, what, what have I seen him in that he's like shock eccentric mm-hmm. what was that movie that i saw him in mm-hmm. and he, oh my god i can't even think of who else is in it mm-hmm. you i got it about no no this is gonna be a, a big old uh no dead end yeah. because i'm not gonna remember it unless i look yeah. him up i, I just remember being john malkovich being a trip there's this because like there's this whole plot of like you go into a tunnel and you can like actually like see like what he's doing and like you, you the characters actually end up controlling him because that's why it's called being john malkovich oh. and at some point malkovich climbs into the tunnel himself it's like i want to go into it. it's like i don't think that's a good idea and, and he just, controls himself no because then he goes into this weird like dimension where like everybody is john malkovich and all anybody says is malkovich malkovich it's like every word every word is, is malkovich. malkovich yeah like if we were so malkovich, say yeah like Malkovich. Malkovich, yeah. Malkovich, Malkovich. Malkovich, Malkovich. Malkovich, right? Mal- Mal- Malkovich. Malkovich. Seriously, that's Ser- what happened? It's, it's a trip. It is a trip. Like, I re- I've seen it like once, and it was years ago, and that 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 scene just is stuck in my head. I'm like, Sounds like I want to wow. whip up a batch of brownies and watch this movie, huh? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just look up that scene. It's like, whoa. Wowie. Wowie. Anyways. <laughs> Not that I would do that. No. I like brownies are all right. Not that I would do that. You know what I'm I mean, saying? Yeah. I mean, it's, well, it's legal. It's medically legal here. So I don't know what you're talking about. Brownies is brownies. <laughs> they're, they're all right. Five pointer for Dan. New releases. In what 2019 film will you find the Ladoma's family gaming empire hiding a dork secret? Oof. He got it right. Yeah, and he had to take all this time on this one because I don't think oh, yeah. he was 100% sure. And it's like, oh, man. And it's it, this is like the heart of a champion here, like just like freaking being down six, half to hit. And one because he didn't, he could have missed one of his, his either his two or his three, but like just to get all three of your questions in the final round correct, it's like, oh, that's why he's Dan Merle. Uh, yes. So, are you looking for that Malkovich film? Red. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the movie I'm thinking mm-hmm. of. Yeah, red. So it goes back to <laughs> <laughs> it goes back to Ben for his two pointer action adventure. You would have thought he'd get this one, but uh. which actor plays the lead in Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift mm-hmm. and reprises the role in Furious Seven? Yeah, and he misses it. And yeah. I think he he was confusing it with something else. I can't remember what he said, but like it's like wow, like he misses. No. Well, because I just I think that he mm-hmm. didn't think of. Him as a lead. Oh, he, he, the movie starts and ends with him. I don't know if it was that he didn't look at him as a lead or he didn't look at him as a high profile think, enough actor. I think he was confusing him with a different actor. Maybe. Um, because honestly, mm-hmm. when I was, <laughs> oh, yeah. I watched this match not live. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, and, and I mean, Andrew watched it and mm-hmm. I was, I, I knew the outcome. Mm-hmm. I, I knew who won the night that it happened but mm-hmm. i didn't actually watch it i went back and watched it mm-hmm. later no with the results in my head yeah so, so anyway i saw people mentioning lucas black a lot lucas black lucas black mm-hmm. and quite literally i didn't know what they were talking about i thought lucas black it sound i mm-hmm. thought it was like a fictional character mm-hmm. and i it sounds like a, it sounds like a character in like luke cage yeah like that's where i thought he was from or something Mm -hmm. and then i looked him up and i thought that he was the same actor that made like a cameo in scrubs one time and you're like no that's Um, not the guy jake yeah Yeah. and you're like no that's not him i'm like wow that just goes to show you how he 
I don't know. I, I had no idea who this guy was. I, I thought he was somebody else. And I thought his I name know. was a fictional character. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't really... It, it, I, I feel just, bad for Ben. It, it, it's just weird that he blanks on a question like that because it's like, yeah, he's... Granted, there's like what there's so many films in the Fast and Furious franchise. People really don't like Tokyo Drift, even though I, I really enjoy Tokyo Drift. Um, but he's like, wow, he's the lead. It's like, yeah, the movie is surround his storyline surrounds that guy. So yeah. it's like, and he reprises his role in Fast Seven. And it's it, his scenes like a minute long. Yeah. So I don't know. It, it's just weird that he misses it. And yeah, there were lots of people fighting. Like, oh, that was a hard two pointer, and then other people were like, that was a perfect no, two pointer. That that that's a per yeah, it is. It, for, it, for, I I have no I had no idea what the guy's name was because I'm terrible with names, especially actors' names. And he doesn't seem to be a very high profile actor. Yeah, and, from yeah. the looks of it. Yeah, I mean, he's been in a couple other things, but like, yeah, it's like I know exactly who they're talking about. I just don't know the guy's name. A lot of people were saying that. Too. Yeah. So maybe that's the mistake that he made. It's just something. Sometimes this, this stuff happens, and it's just like yeah. weird. It's like ugh. That and sucks. it sucks to blank on a two pointer because everyone's yeah. like, oh, "How do you miss a two pointer?" It's like, "Yeah, get in there and do it yourself." Yeah. All right. Sometimes, <laughs> like, yes, geez. it happens. Sometimes you see people miss, just like, like, oh god, yeah, that guy. I mean, who were we just watching that couldn't think of Woody Harrelson to save their life? Oh, it was um, late to the party guy. Here we go, blanking on a question, being asked, put on the spot. Mm. There you go, Robert. What's his uh, Robert? I yeah. almost said Pattinson. Montana. <laughs> Montana. Yeah. There you go. See. Wow. There you go. <laughs> We get put on the spot. Sometimes it's like, I don't know. I know this person's name. I, know but I don't know. I know it. <laughs> like we literally watched Robert just kind of spiral and be like, oh, oh, I He's know like, this person. On, why can't he, waste, he like wasted like two JTEs. It's like, yeah. where is it? Where? It's in my brain. Yeah. I just can't it's like, see just, it. Just get it from here to here. <laughs> it sucks when yeah. that happens. It sucks. It yeah. Sucks to hard. miss, especially in a title match, to miss a two pointer. It's just like, ugh. Yeah. So he missed that. Three pointers. For Ben, mm -hmm. musicals. Benjamin Barker is the real name of the lead in this 2007 gory musical. Mm. Sweeney Todd. Yeah. He got it. And then he got his five-pointer. Mm. Horror. A man named Mike Enslin stays at the, a hotel named The Dolphin that has a dark pass in NYC in what film? <sighs> 1408. 1408. And he did unfortunately miss it. Yeah. So the final score, 28 to 29, mm -hmm. Dan Merle retains his title. Yeah, and Dan was just the shark to win this one as, you know, as Ben was. It was such a, you know, it was a cute, as heartbroken as I was for Ben. Yeah. And it's not that I didn't want Dan to win. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that, you know, I didn't want either of these two to lose. Yeah. But obviously that's not possible. But mm -hmm. it was just, it was a really cute like cute moment like, like a really pure moment where i'm only assuming that maybe mara walked across or something and he mm -hmm. caught eyes with her or something because it's like he looked up and just goes i won like in total shock. shock yeah and it was just such a sweet moment and it was like wow yeah he yeah. he thought because you never know with ben yeah. sometimes he runs the clock down because mm -hmm. he wants to build tension sometimes he's running it down because he's actually legitimately thinking mm -hmm. but the curse of doing that mm -hmm. the curse of playing that game is that everyone always thinks you're playing yeah like everyone always thinks like oh yeah he knows that he knows he's mm -hmm. just playing with the you know the clock and everything but it, it, it wasn't an act this it's, time it, it's heartbreaking especially to go into the final round six, up, up six, six on dan merle like you couldn't ask for a more perfect scenario like yep i'm i got i just gotta grip my teeth hope he misses something or just answer my questions and if lucas black had just been there <laughs> yeah or 1408 for that matter mm -hmm. one of those two it's just it's heartbreaking yeah <sighs> like I, I feel really bad yeah. for ben so let's but super happy for dan oh, don't yeah. want to take anything away from dan because he is the most decorated player oh in yeah and now he, yeah he is he gets to focus on 100 percent on the teams now yeah and you know, just he gets to sit back and wait to see who gets comes out of the tournament until spectacular. So he's guaranteed a spot in spectacular it's now. Crazy. Finn Stock Exchange. We were guaranteed a spot in spectacular for this match, but yeah. now it's Dan that gets to represent us. Crazy for the single stuff for they the were, main event. Like talking about his stats, what were they like? Oh, 15 wins. Yeah, they like eighty seven knockouts. <laughs> it's like eight knockouts. Like Jesus, I've, wow. Crazy. Like when you like usually it's like records is like oh yeah I, I always say like records is like yeah whatever whatever, but like when, when you, you hear Dan's there. record it's like god wow yeah. 
that's why you're <laughs> the, that's pretty the best. impressive yeah <laughs> but yeah so we let's uh we'll, we'll touch on what happened after the match oh yeah which yeah. was uh it, it's spicy to say the least yeah it, it's just like maybe it's just been being heated in the moment because god knows i've been there um i I've didn't show i'm not I, even a player yeah I've, I've been there but i didn't really show it on camera like uh because like it sucks i've it, a lot of a lot of players have been there mm-hmm. um to be almost be like yes it's it's it's, it's right it's, there it's right there like it's right there i can totally see it i can just it's right there and then just have it to be like nope you just you just don't have the five pointer mm-hmm. it sucks when that happens and this has happened to him uh it was heavyweights yeah heavyweights, heavyweights is one. In, in atlanta mm-hmm. and 1408 now. 1408. and it's happened before in teams as well with with, with riley mm-hmm. several times so like it's just like oh he can't just see it. sometimes it's just like if you would have just done so, and it's not and one this is, this match is not like oh if i would would have done this differently or it's like it just came down to that five really well, it came down to either Lucas Black or 1408. Yeah. If, and, if he had gotten either one of those, he would have won. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's just, it's just, it's hard. I know it is hard. And for what he just, I guess the, for me, I think the most just might have gotten the best of him because he's just like, I'm done with the exchange. I'm done with Gucci. I'm done with this. And it's like, I understand you're in, you're heated in the moment. Maybe just come back in a week. We'll, we'll gather ourselves. But he seemed really mad. Yeah. Like, like people are like, oh, well, Gucci's not gonna have any of his players next next season because yeah. Roca definitely wants to leave, and if Roca leaves, Dan's gonna leave because they're a package deal. And people keep thinking that Ben wants to team up with Barbarian. Barbarian. So if yeah. Ben leaves, will Barbarian? I, th- leave? I, I, I saw it somewhere on Twitter where like somebody's like, yep, Barbarian agrees with Ben, and he wants to be wherever Ben goes, he's gonna go. It's like oh, I didn't see that. I, I, something to that effect. I saw. I on saw Twitter. Craig uh, mm-hmm. say something in support of. Uh, mm-hmm being on ben's side for that fast and furious question yeah i don't know i, I don't know what what with this but it's like if that's the case and like who does gucci sign yeah and like it's like if all your players are just leaving yeah and like like it's like granted we have you know the founding fathers in the team's tournament right now dan's gonna be representing us in the main event uh for the title that's spectacular so it's like maybe we could still hold on to the founding fathers but maybe roca is just like nope i'm out and yeah. it's like well we just keep dan and then sign me and the barbarian or the barbarian doesn't want to stay because he wants to go with ben and ben wants to leave now it's like so it's like all this drama now it's like drama has followed our our faction uh, since the beginning yeah not even like the beginning of the season with roca and the fourth round thing yeah it's always been there maybe this is something that just has to blow over again cooler heads prevail and it's maybe. like all right i the motion got the best of me i'm i'm still in it to win it i'm still a faction man i don't know what what what's going on i haven't heard anything uh since then uh, and it's just, uh, like, yeah, yeah. And people are on the chat like, oh, well, Ben's going to go to corruption or. Oh, yeah. Because Shana you know. was in the chat mm-hmm. like, hey, baby boy, if you want to come over here and let out your frustration. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, mm-hmm. she was uh, doing her thing mm-hmm. like she does. I can't even you want. I want to not like Shannon, but I love her. <laughs> yeah. Shannon, if you want a, a player that's hungry and angry and has an automatic title shot. Mm. And if you also want to mm-hmm. hang out with his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm our, not chomping dogs, around. Our dogs have the same name. There's no way so I'm chomping around. We could around. be buddies. I mean, this could be the best thing for me. Maybe it's like, hey, all my guys want to leave. So here you go, Andrew. I'm like, okay. Wow, way to just like stir the pot over here. <laughs> just like fuel fire. <sighs> just <sighs> fan the flames. Fan them, baby. <laughs> Oh boy! Yeah, because I've said I, I don't want to play for anybody else but Gucci. I mean, if something else comes along where it's like I get an offer, this is just like okay. But my mind's open. My mind, yeah. But it's we're so far from the season ending that like, we can't really look at this right now. It's like we got to worry about the teams. Yeah, event. Um, the teams. And you got to uh, worry about thing. spectacular. We got to worry about spectacular. So, um, we'll get there when we get there. But um, let's not put the cart in front of the horse. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And there is something that you said you brought my, to my attention in the Facebook group after this had come up about. I can't remember. I mean, 
uh, uh, who said it, or I don't really don't care who said it, but you said somebody was um, alluding to the fact that it really doesn't matter about skill. In this. Yeah, Can I saw you, yeah. a discussion. Mm -hmm. I don't. I it don't, was after this match because it, it, it stemmed from this match. Yeah. Because I don't want to talk about something that doesn't really relate to this match, but yeah, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. It was like a big long thread with a bunch of people, you know, having this this discussion, mm -hmm. and so I don't know what started it or or what, mm -hmm. but it was a discussion where people were talking about what, um, if how much of a role luck mm -hmm. plays in the Schmodown mm -hmm. in matches, and you know, some people were saying, um, that luck is the only factor in, mm -hmm. like, oh man. How do I explain this? Mm -hmm. So it was like luck is the only factor. Mm -hmm. It was it, it. It wasn't. It wasn't that like they knew the answers. They just got lucky that they got the questions that they that they got yeah, asked. Yeah, you get if you win, mm -hmm. or if you if you win, it's because you got lucky that you got questions that you mm -hmm. knew the answer to, mm -hmm. and if you lose. You just got unlucky. It's because you got unlucky that you got a question that was in a blind spot and then your opponent was the lucky one because mm. they got questions that either you didn't know or the ones that they did know. So it all boils down to luck, which I thought was a very interesting take. Yeah. Because I see what you're saying because absolutely luck plays a factor mm -hmm. in the schmodown. You got the wheel round. You mm -hmm. got the final round where you're picking numbers. Basically, yeah, out of a hat. Out of a hat, which mm -hmm. I – it just – it – it annoys me slightly when people start talking about like good and bad numbers because it's like, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's, it's totally it's random. It's totally random. <laughs> Unless Shmominati, you know what I'm saying? But like, it's random. The numbers are random in the final round. The wheel is random. It, there, there obviously is a luck factor. But I just think it's interesting to say that everything mm -hmm. comes down to luck. I thought it was a very interesting discussion seeing people going back and forth about it. Yeah. Um, I personally disagree. Yeah, you're being very generous and nice about this. I think it's insulting. I yeah. think it's very insulting to competitors that put in the work and to say that everything comes down to like, oh, you got lucky you knew those questions. Mm -hmm. So I put all this work months upon months upon hours upon hours of my personal time mm -hmm. gathering information, studying these movies, making sure that I know the ins and outs and the lines and all that stuff. And you're saying that I just got lucky I knew my answers. Not to the fact that I, I put all in this work that, you know, you know, I commit a lot to memory and it's just I'm lucky I knew my answers. Yeah. It's it, it's 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 so disrespectful and insulting that to the people that put in so much effort into this, you know, to people like myself, Ace Cabrera put in a lot of a ton of work to pull out the upsets that he did. Laura Kelly, uh Ben Bateman, uh Chandru definitely put in the work. Kevin Smets definitely puts in a lot of work to to get to, to where so he was. So many names. There's so many names. To. Rachel Cushing. Like, are you telling me that Rachel Cushing is just a lucky player? Yeah, because that begs the question yeah. of so what would what if if yeah. that's if that's the case, then what what's the criteria for being a good player? Yeah. If, what's the what's what what's the point of having a Mount Rushmore if it's not then mm -hmm. Mount Rushmore must not be who's the best player, it's just who's the luckiest player. Yeah, exactly. Who's luckier on and that that's, day? And that's why I'm saying that it's it's pretty it's insulting. And it's yeah. so it, I God, there's another word that that I had in my head that it's just like it's demeaning. It's it's very demeaning to say like you're just a lucky player. But so you got I, lucky that you, you, you got that. lucky. It's like so I miss two questions, three two three questions in a turn because I'm lucky. No, I I I I, I got all those questions right because I put in the work. Yeah. Yet I, I'm not saying that it's lucky that yeah oh oof, I got a five pointer than I knew. Yeah, th there's luck in that. There's definitely a luck There's component. definitely a luck component to that. And luck definitely plays in the factor of me missing a five-pointer. Oh, yeah. I got insanely unlucky. Incredibly unlucky. Incredibly unlucky. It's happened to me twice. I got unlucky that I got hit in a blind spot that I just, it just, uh, it, got, it fell through the cracks. I'm like, oh, God, uh, what luck do I have that I get the one thing, not one of the things that just slipped through the cracks yeah. that I just didn't study up on. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will say that. Yeah, luck played in that game. But to say that I don't, the only reason I knew all those questions, the only reason you won that match is because because I'm because I'm lucky. No, I. It, it's so like I. The second you told me that, I'm like, 
what what is this person talking about? Did it just they... kind of I understand the point. Yeah, and I do. I, I agree to an extent, mm-hmm. but it just kind of diminishes the work. Yeah, that's that's, being put that's in. the word I was saying. It's diminishing. Yeah, it's it, diminishing the accomplishments that these players have have gotten, the wins and the work. Because like it, it's just like you might as well say like, oh God, it, like comparing it to because we want to be this to be like a sport. Yeah. Look at it as a sport. So this football team because you know football's back and i'm watching football <laughs> so you're just lucky that the that this person caught the ball it's like it's not the the hours upon hours that they run drills um practice working chem getting chemistry with with your players and all that it's not all that i just I, i'm just lucky that i threw the ball and the guy caught it in the end zone is that what you're, you're telling me yeah it's like no p- players of and i hate bringing up his name tom brady didn't <laughs> get six champ six yeah six titles by being lucky yeah you, you know what i'm saying to say that is like to, to bring it back to the schmo it's like dan merle isn't a four-time champ two and and uh you know teams title all these accolades because he's lucky yeah it's because he knows his his movie trivia he puts in the work to defend his titles and win and go on these runs to, to win his titles so it's like I can go on and on about this. Like it, yeah. this, when you told me this, I'm like, this, this, this has to be coming from a, a somebody that just really doesn't understand the work. Because people say, oh yeah, I understand how hard you worked. I full hardly believe not everybody completely understands how much work goes mm-hmm. into being successful in this league. I would love to make a documentary yeah. on what players go through and what they do to prepare, yeah. but then you don't want to give away secrets. Yeah, because it's it's not only me that's doing the work. No. It's spouses, oh. significant oh, yeah, others, friends put in work to help you get to where you are. I couldn't, like, I'll say it right now, I more than half the work is because of you getting me there. Not just not just watching the movies with me, just like the moral smart is is great, but like also sitting next to me while I'm watching the movie on your laptop, mm-hmm. going writing on questions, watching another movie. Mm-hmm. So it's like that's the kind of work that goes into it. And I don't think f- sometimes fans just don't realize that's what it takes. That's why to I win. take it so seriously too, is because mm-hmm. I've put in almost the same amount of hours that you have yeah the days the weeks the months like yeah and it's it's just it's a lot of work and it, and it is kind of like i just i wish people could know <laughs> yeah and it's infuriating because like because people are like yeah i know how hard you wanted this i know how hard you studying. it's like honestly i don't know you, you don't really you honestly don't. <laughs> i don't think you do i don't think you do because it's not only is it, is it time put into this it's i said before uncompensated time it's my own free time that i'm doing this i don't do this for the paycheck because there's not really a paycheck in it for me. Yeah, I do this because I love the game. I do this because I love Star Wars. Yeah. I do this because I love competing in things that that involve Star Wars and movie trivia. And just... yeah, and it's also exciting to be able to put forth this mm-hmm. in any other arena. Mm-hmm. People would look at this kind of stuff as like useless knowledge. Yeah. So it's really exciting to yeah. be in a forum where it's celebrated yeah. and encouraged. Mm-hmm. It's it's a very exciting thing to be a part of. Yeah, and so. We're, it's taking something that's already a passion and molding it and fitting it into something that something else, that, another passion. Yeah, that I can, can, I can, I can be good at. Compounding I love, your passions on top of each other. Yeah, it's like I love being good at something. Who doesn't like being good at things? And yeah. it's like, how do you get good at this game? You put in the work, and just and just to come, just to sit, straight up say, oh yeah, it all comes down to luck. No, it doesn't. I get luck what you're play, saying. Luck plays a factor in this game. If it didn't, then it'd be it'd just be people just like firing questions back. We'd be going back and forth all day long with questions. There'd be no good players and bad players. Yeah, it's just all like mm-hmm. oh, I was just having a good day today. Yeah, but it was it was a it was a large discussion. Yeah, you know, it wasn't just one person spouting off. Like mm-hmm. it was it was uh, several people going back and forth. Yeah, but yeah, it's just. It, Every once in a while, I just I see something in the Facebook group, mm-hmm. and I just I tell Andrew about it, and we we have our own schmodown discussions about it. Yeah, and sometimes but... it goes on, and it makes me pretty upset, and that's usually why I stay out of the face. This is this is like I would yeah. love to talk to fans about like, oh yeah, this is like, but my experience this past year with the fandom, I just like I'm I'm just gonna stay out of it, and yeah. like that, that's one thing I do love about the schmodown. You get like a direct line to your favorite competitors. But then there's also comments like this that just like, why do we even bother? Yeah. Sometimes. And I know it. Pro- it mm-hmm. I I understand it probably wasn't meant to be insulting. Yeah. And it wasn't meant to be nasty and mean. It was. I'm sure that it was just 
people saying, mm-hmm. hey, this is how I feel. And that's totally fine. And it you're is. entitled to your it opinions. Is. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's probably exactly why Christian tells people to stay out of the Facebook group. And honestly, mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm still in it. Because I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm just it does, as, it does I'm more harm just than good. as into it as he is. Mm-hmm. So I honestly I, who knows? You might be even more involved next season. God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if my mental health can take that. Yeah. But like, um, yeah, I'm sure it wasn't meant with malice. You know, mm-hmm. I'm sure it the discussion wasn't meant to to have that kind of, you mm-hmm. know, connotation, but But it's just that's what happens sometimes when you like when you have a hot take, somebody's going to come back. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's the whole fun of being uh, being entitled to your opinion. You mm-hmm. can express it and just as as mm-hmm. much as you're allowed to express it, we're, we're allowed, allowed to disagree with it. I'm allowed to disagree with it. So, I about it. So, you know. But yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's as long as you're not like throwing yeah. jabs and saying, wow, you're an idiot. Wow, what a jerk. Yeah. You know, as long as you're not saying stuff like that, as long as it's a, a respectful debate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe a, what's the word that they call it at my work? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. I don't work what, are they, you work. what do they call it? A robust argument. Ooh. <laughs> Aggressive That's, negotiations. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I get yeah. that reference. But yeah. yeah, they call it they call it robust arguments <laughs> at my workplace. So yes. and but I we've, always thought that was we, funny. we've talked about this to death. I, we went on a really large tangent that I didn't mean to go on and I apologize, but it's just sometimes comments like this just give me it's like ugh. And you just feel good because now it's like you got it out of your yeah, system. Yeah, I got it out of my system and we got it on a forum. But somebody wants to chime in to tell us to move along. Shut up, stupid. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Okay. Yeah, probably needed that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I think we'll wrap the show up there with that. Thank you, Christian. So, uh, I love that. That's like one of my favorite sound bites. Shut up, stupid. It's very applicable yeah. <laughs> in a lot of things. Points to anybody that can tell me where that's from in the comment section. So, nice. <laughs> with that, we'll end this, uh, this uh, show. Oh, up. I know where it's from. You know where it's from. Yeah, I do. I, I do too. I bet you're the one that clipped it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shut up, stupid. Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki DiMolato, where can they find you online? You can find me on Twitter. And on Twitter, my name is Dimmy, D-I-M-M. Oh, I should go this way. D-I-M-M-M-Y-Y-Y. <laughs> I know how to read. <laughs> you know I don't read. You As know. for me, you can follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram and also on Twitch at Drew DiMolato, D-I-M-L-N-T-A. So watch this on YouTube then you can like comment and subscribe and then there's a bell icon over right on over there in the corner and you can click it if you want to know when we do stuff on youtube <laughs> if you're listening to this on audio form on the beyond Shmode on podcast feed wherever you get your podcast please go ahead and rate the show be much appreciated and uh i think that's it oh yeah and i would but before we wrap this up i would like to give one final 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 one final thank you to all of our patrons who are part of our uh, part of the squadron, member of the squadron, um, especially our sword and captains, uh, Ferris Mathana, Josh Estes, and B. Door. This will be the last time that we will be thanking our patrons because uh, we became the decision to close on the page. It's just for right now, it's it, it's um, what's best for us because just the time commitment is just getting too taxing um, because of professional and personal life. Yeah. just seems to be getting in the way. We just don't have the time to dedicate that. It just that. seemed like the right move right now. It's the right move for now. It's not, uh, you know, it's like just a hold for, I'll, I'll say that. We might bring it back someday. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but it doesn't mean it's the end of the squadron. Um, I'll probably, we'll find, so we'll, if you want to be like, yeah, it's not you, it's us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the squadron will live on in some, uh, some way, shape or form. But like, thank you again to all of our patrons that are a part of that. It's just, I made a whole video about it. And yeah. Yes. They they know they know um all that. But with that, we will end the show of Beyond the Shmano. Thank you so much for joining us this week, and we'll see you next, next time. time.